Welcome to the Film and TV channel. We're going to have a look at a little film called Being the Ricardos today. A 15 certificate, 2 hours 11 minutes uh, biographical drama written and directed by Aaron Sorkin about the relationship between I Love Lucy stars Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem star as the uh, two main protagonists in this as Lucille Ball and Mr. Arnaz, uh, while J.K. Simmons, Nina Arianda, Tony Hale, Alia Shawkat, Jake Lacey and Clark Gregg also star. It received a limited theatrical release uh, by Amazon Studios in the US on December the 10th that is now uh, streaming worldwide on Amazon. Uh, as at the 21st of December 2021, which is where I watch this little effort. Yes, uh, it is a revealing glimpse, this is their words, not mine, of the couple's complex romantic and professional relationship. The film takes audiences into the writer's room, into the sound stage, and behind closed doors with Bald and Arnez during one critical production week of their groundbreaking sitcom, I Love Lucy. Yeah, it's all about... Uh, claims that uh, Lucille Ball was in fact a member of the Communist Party at the time and we don't we know what sort of was happening in the United States at them sort of times. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, an approval rating, a positivity rating if you like, a 71%, 171%, 197% reviews with an average rating of just 6.7 out of 10. So that's, I say just, that's okay, that's fine, 6.7 out of 10, I'll say that every day of the week. Uh, 139 fresh and 58 rotten reviews yeah Thomas Laffley he's fresh on it he's from rogerebert.com he said a complex enjoyable gamble that comes with a big bright smile and something a touch darker underneath much like the larger than life heroine at its heart but it hurt so he was a little bit rotten on this he didn't like it very much he's from the Globe and Mail he said Kidman's casting might not be the move that some anticipated but it is the move that Ball's legacy deserves the trouble is that the film Kidman signed on for is He's not quite there. Oh, well, yeah, how do you know what she signed on for? There you go. The consensus uh, put all the heads together, says bring the Ricardos, can't hope to truly capture it such as brilliant star power, but Nicole Kidman has a ball with Aaron Sorkin's Spitfire dialogue. And the audience, Rotten Tomatoes audience, 3.9 out of 5, so that equates to 7.8 out of 10, so that's not too shabby. So we've got the audience slightly more impressed, perhaps, than the critics, which uh, nothing new there, is there really? Most of the time, anyway. Metacritic, the other site we look at, uh, it's got an average of 60, so 6 out of 10, 60 out of 100, based on 46 critics. So those 46, 24 were positive, 16 were mixed, and 6 were negative. So again, very much uh, sort of into the into the plus side as far as people liking it. And it did score anywhere between a, a miserly 25 out of 100 and a bit better, 88 out of 100. Internet Movie Database, this is what counts for us, isn't it? This is uh, Joe Public, this is the guys paying at the door to go and watch this or subscribing to Amazon and watching it and being a happy chappy, hopefully, uh, and obviously getting something for the subscription, which is how I view Amazon at the moment. I'm not saying I, I, I do Amazon because of obviously because of the, the films and TV series. Uh, if they didn't have any films and TV, I wouldn't particularly be interested in Amazon, the sort of other side, if you like, but that's a different story. Yeah, so Internet Movie Database, 7 out of 10. But in that, uh, yeah, interestingly enough, there's quite a lot of reviews and scores been left. There's been 171 10 out of 10s. Yeah, and 74, 1 out of 10. So I've ignored those, so I've gone to the other ones. So there's people who rated it between 6 and 9 out of 10. There was 697. Uh, say this is early days, this is, at, this is at the release date, the 21st of December 2021, so obviously uh, people have been to the cinema to see it, but uh, obviously uh, not as so many reviews uh, uh, proportionally, if you like. Uh, 142 scored anywhere between 2 and 5 out of 10, so that's a massive 83% positivity, so very very in line uh, with the Rotten Tomatoes positivity, which is 70 odd, this is 83%. Right, my little thoughts on it, just to sum up, I really enjoyed the feel of this, to be honest, the feel and vibe of this film. Uh, I do have fond memories. Uh, it's not something I've ever gone back and watched again, but I do have fond memories 
Uh, I must have been quite young, uh, as I say. It doesn't stick in my mind as much as certain things. I mean, you know, I talk all the classic like uh, uh, American series, like you know, obviously High Chaparral and Cannon and all that sort of streets of San Francisco. But I do have vague memories of watching as, as, a, as a young lad. I love Lucy, and obviously, I think it finished filming around nineteen sixty. So obviously, I'm thinking probably the early sixties, but it probably would have been that time when it came over to the UK, and no doubt it would have been repeated and stuff like that. Anyway, so I do have fond memories of watching I Love Lucy. I did enjoy the program. I, I just remember I can't put any specifics on why I did. I just did. I think it certainly appealed to me here in the UK. Uh, Kidman and Barden are excellent, excellent in this. They have a great supporting cast, uh, some some great actors in this. And it was the humour more than anything. There's a bit of dark humour, of course there is, but it's the actual uh, line, you know, it's like, well, obviously it's like a script and it's like the one-liners, but it was sort of appealed to me greatly in this film, to be honest with you. And it's a really good sign because uh, this runs for over two hours and it just didn't feel that long and I just didn't want it to finish. I was quite enjoying it when I was a bit... Uh, sometimes you get a film that finishes and you wish, oh, I wish it had gone on a bit longer. And this was one of those for me. I say it won't be everyone's cup of tea, but it just appealed to me. I, I'll be absolutely honest with you, but I know from putting a putting a neutral head on, yeah, some people won't appreciate it as certainly as much as I did. It just it sort of worked right for me on a humour level and a, a script level because it's very wordy, of course it is. There's some flashback to show you sort of the early days of the relationship between the, the main couple. Uh, and this sits well within the context of this sort of more look at that week where they had lots of problems as well. And you have people talking about who were characters talking about what happened and what was happening at the time, etc. It's like, like a documentary introduction, but then you get obviously the, the film drama side of it as well. And uh, yeah, there's so much probably not said in this. I mean, it, it is prime perhaps for a series rather than a one-off film, to be honest with you. There's so much we don't find out about the characters. It doesn't really go that deep into the two main protagonists, never mind the other guys who are in it who are quite, you know, some, some of whom were quite interesting people as well. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it does skirt around things, but it sort of gets on with the, with the question at hand and, and the plot and the, the theme at hand, if you like. And as I said, it, it won't be everyone's uh, taste, but it certainly touched my little chuckle muscle. It even give me a little bit of goosebumps as well towards the end of a certain scene or two. Uh, but, yeah. Very, very, uh, yeah, probably a little dry for some. As I said, it won't appeal to everyone, but for me personally, a very enjoyable watch. It does want me to go back and watch an episode or two of I Love Lucy and see if I can still connect to it. Probably not now. Probably a bit dated, obviously, going back 60-odd years. But, uh, yeah, so it did. did uh, I did thoroughly enjoy this, and I am going to give it a very, very watchable rating, a good rating. I'm going to give this uh, 7 out of 10, which is... A good start to the Christmas period. I say there's not many films that I score more than six and six point five, but uh, I was looking back at some of from last year actually. There's probably only about fifteen films or more that got seven or more out of ten in the whole of the year. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to give this seven out of ten. And as I said, critically wise, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of negativity. Uh, that's obviously the di- it's all the directors just made it about him and stuff like this. But I, I just quite liked. As I said, I'd love a series. I love a few series of this to get you know find out about a bit more about Lucille Ball and find out a little bit more about um, the co-stars and a, and a husband etc etc but uh, hey as a one-off film I thoroughly enjoyed it anyway let me know what you think guys if you get to watch this what have you got to do this today have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your families more importantly let's all look after each other through be here again hopefully on the film and tv channel uh, I only ask one thing don't I guys till we meet again please stay safe everyone Thanks for watching. Bye for now.